Hi, it's me again with Grill Draw Tips and Tricks. A friend of mine sent me this file and asked me what I thought it would engrave on a black cup. I didn't have a black cup. I wanted to test it. But I ran on a green cup and it came out good. Here's his. It's almost non, you can't tell what's going on. And disregard that because he had another logo. But it for the one I'm doing it for, it, it looks good. So we can't use this logo. Well, this is the logo I did or the Yoda I did. So we're going to use this one. You can't just invert colors because this is just black and white. There's only black. Well, basically there's only black because the white is transparent. So what we're going to do, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to take away the fill and look at, make sure that it's all hairline. Now I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did last night for him. Matter of fact, I think I inadvertently had already closed in that line. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take away the lines that I forgot to reduce. Whoop, that must not be one. So that's a bad spot. But what I'm gonna do, I don't like these bumps on his head because they're gonna cause this problem. So I'm gonna get the three-point curve line, and I'm gonna go from there all the way to there and try to mimic his head. And then I'm going to get rid of these parts. So I'm going to have to go to object group and or break curve apart, grab those and just delete them. Last night I filled in between them and it, I think this is going to be a lot better. So now we just need to fill in the gaps so the smart fill tool won't leak. I'm going to continue using the three point curve line, even though that could be a straight line. I could put a little bit of a curve to it. If you need a straight line, all you have to do is um, just double click on it before you move it. I'm gonna go ahead and go from there to there, give a little bit of curve. Uh, I'm gonna straighten that out here in a second. I'm going to go like right here. Now, while we're here, I'm gonna straighten this out. And for the one I'm doing it for, yeah, I met, I met this gentleman probably 15 years ago at the APA show, and I think we've both been every year since. And I'm just going to go down there and see, I, I'm going to make that a straight line. I'm going to go from there to there. And you could, you could really take your time. And, you know, that's really another one of those spots, but we're going to see how it works. And I'm just going to go from there to there, give a little bit of curve. Now, I don't know that I have them all, but I think I do, but I'm still going to use the rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smart fill tool set on black and fill in like right there. That's pretty cool. That's the way it's going to look. Now for the one I'm doing it for, if we look at the picture, these are kind of not a big a deal, but we could make these bigger. We take the shape tool and just kind of make these spots bigger. Matter of fact, we could probably get the, the smoothing tool, smooth it out a little bit more, and then smooth it out. And then see if, if you have to click on it and get the nodes to show. And then you could always take the shape tool. And for the one I'm doing it for, I'll send you this file and you can look at it, think it's better than the other one. You know, I would just maybe increase the area of our color and just kind of maybe even on his mouth, kind of little, maybe just take, move this down, you know, just give it a little bit more area that the black or there's not going to, that it's not going to gray. <clears throat> okay. I think we're done. But what I'd also like to do is we have these outlines. Well, I'm going to try this. I don't know if it'll work. I'm going to take my smart field. First of all, I want to change my smart field tool to like 10 inches. I'm going to take my smart field tool and fill that in. Then I'm going to, I'm going to fill it in other than black. 
just so you can see it. Now I'm going to move it up and I'm going to left click, right click. The reason for that is now I've got a line and what I could do is smart fill this with black. Okay. But now I can take away the line. And see, it took away my red lines, but now I have a new line. I can just nudge it back down. And at this time, I wanted something other than a hairline. And see, I think his, his mouth might be too big. Oh, and also, I, I'm a little bit off right there. That's because the fact that the uh, that one spot I should have taken out. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter. That could just be another feature. But I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Now we're going to take this line. And it's a hairline. And let's make it like a little bit thicker. Whoop. That's too thick. And also, once you get it the size you want, hit F12 and go right here to scale with object. That way, let's group all this together. Control G. That way, this thing is huge, but to put it on that cup, you might want it that small. Well, the lines are still going to be saved the same. So, Dan, I'm going to send you both these. I've already sent you this one. And, you know, maybe his mouth's too big now. But I would maybe go with it. But anyway, that's a fun project. Hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.